Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to set up cloth inside Unreal Engine. So we are going to be building a, a very basic flag. Now in order to do this, you will need uh, a few things. The first one you will need is the plugin here, the physics clothing um, plugin for the for your specified version of, uh, of a 3ds Max. So you just need to go here, uh, click download and find uh, what is known as the, uh, I think it's called D. DCC uh, plugin, and then you choose your version of Max. Uh, once you have done that, you install um, that, and you are set to go. So the first thing we need to do is to build our very basic flag. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a cylinder, and this is just going to be our our basic pole here. And I'm going to go to the front view. And I'm going to choose plane, and I'm going to build uh, the very basic flag shape. I'm going to give this some extra segments, and the more segments you have, the more realistic your flag will look as it has more geometry in order to deform. Uh, in this case, I'm going to go with something maybe like 15 by 15. I think it's going to be um, great for this tutorial. You will also need to set up this. Um, mesh to have a, uh, a a bone and you'll also need to set up um your your material uh, ids so we're going to right click this we're going to choose convert to edgeful poly and we're going to select the pole here i'm going to select element and select control a to select all i'm going to go down i'm going to set this to id one and then we're going to select the flag i'm going to select element scroll all the way down and choose set to ID 2 and uh, once we have that we need to go over to the um, systems and we're going to choose bone and we're just going to simply click and uh, drag out a bone here and we can also delete that little nub there at the top okay so we can select our bone and for ease of use we'll give this a name so let's just select our bone here. Okay, and uh, we'll just we'll just call this flag bone. Okay, so once we've done that, we can select the pole here. So let's select the uh, pole. We can obviously give this a name. And uh, we're going to go to create and we're going to find the skin modifier. I'm going to press skin. And all we want to do is click add and choose the flag bone and choose select. And uh, we can select this, call this flag. We want to go ahead and do the same thing here. So we want to go ahead, find the skin. We want to choose add and we want to add the uh, flag bone and choose select. So we have these uh, both set up. Let's quickly set up our materials here. So I'm going to press the M to bring up the materials editor. I'm just going to select an empty um, slot here. I'm going to click standard. I'm going to go over to where it says uh, multi sub object. Uh, I'm going to choose to uh, discard all materials and press OK. I'm going to choose set number. I'm going to set this to two. And uh, we simply just need to assign um, some materials to this. So let's go ahead and just set two random colors. Now I find that uh, you need to do this sometimes in Unreal for it to recognize that an element has been added um, or a material has been added. Okay, so let's go ahead and set number two. So we're going to go ahead to standard and in this case we'll just choose some other uh, random color here. And uh, press assign. So we're almost ready to set up here. So what we need to do now is we need to select the flag and we need to press uh, also, we need, as I say, we need to add the apex clothing modifier on here, and we need to scroll down until we see uh, paint. Now, you see we have this um, brush value of zero. This means that there's going to be no movement inside the cloth at all. At all. So we want to just choose the fill button and uh, click that first, 
And then what we can now do is add a value. So the higher this value, the uh, the greater movement or stretchingness or stretchiness, sorry, it will have. So I'm going to head and choose a value maybe around 50. You may want to play around with this to get uh, much better results. Um, but for the purposes of the video, it's going to be fine. Okay, so next we want to choose this uh, little paintbrush button next to that. And here we can start to paint the, uh, the weights on. So let's go ahead and paint them all the way. see those last vertexes because those last vertexes if you remember correctly have a value of zero and uh, that's essentially it we have our flag ready to go so with uh, nothing selected we want to go to file export we're going to choose desktop and uh, we want to choose uh, originally we want to choose fbx and we can give this a name so we're just going to name this flag and choose save and press ok and ok now what we want to do is we want to select the um, flag itself we want to go to file export export selected this time because we only want to export the flag itself uh, we're going to give this a, a name again flag however this time we want to go ahead and choose the apex um, exporting option we're going to choose save and we're going to choose export so now, if we jump into Unreal, I have a, a scene already open here, just some uh, some of those tutorial videos um, that we was using before with the materials. If we right click, choose import, and we want to import our flag.fbx, and we're just going to leave the settings as default. Uh, we want to make sure that we have import as skeletal mesh checks though. Choose import, and you see it's going to bring in a bunch of files here with this. So if we double click on here, you can see that uh, we have our flag. Okay. Now it looks like we didn't export that properly. Let's try this again. We want to have nothing selected. And we just want to choose export. And let's choose flag. Just okay. Okay. Let's go back to Unreal here. Let's right click and choose reimport and our poll doesn't appear um, let's try file export export selected FBX She's flagged, she's okay, she's okay. Okay, let's right click, choose, re-import. Okay, so now our poll is there. I guess we have to select both of them in order for this to work. Um, I guess that's just some little bug we have here. So now you see we have both of these elements. We have element zero, which is the poll, and we have element one, which is uh, the flag, okay? What we need to do is we need to scroll underneath here where it says uh, clothing and we want to import um, the apex file, the flag that we exported. I'm going to choose open. Now we want to go back up under where it says element one because if you remember correctly, uh, zero is uh, the poll and we want to choose for where it says none here under clothing, we want to choose apex flag. And now you can see our flag has um, is has now been simulated now in order to see this um work we need to go to show and under clothing we want to check this option that says um apply wind and so you can see now it's blowing in the wind here and we can also go to show and on the clothing we have this um we have this wind strength so we can increase this or we can decrease that in order to get uh, different values. Now, this is not, this doesn't work in the uh, actual world itself. Okay. Uh, you have to actually apply or add wind to uh, the world. So let's go ahead and increase our wind strength a little bit more. And we can see our flag is now waving in the wind. Now, if we go on the backside here, um, you can see that we have no, um, uh, 
back to this this is because we haven't got a material set up with two-sided so just to simply show you to fix that we can go to material m underscore cloth let's open this and um, there is a few options we have to keep, bear in mind in here okay so we're going to add a constant one vector i'm going to set this to about 0.5 And I'm going to set the roughness to 1. Okay, so under the properties, we want to check this option that says two-sided. Um, it may help if you turn off tangent um, uh, tangent space normals. However, under the properties, we want to check these two options. Okay, all the way to the bottom. We're going to choose used with clothing. And there is another option, I believe. Yeah, this one used with skeletal mesh. And uh, click save. And uh, let's apply this to our cloth here so now you can see we have uh, both sides uh, simulated here nicely and we have our basic flag in here okay so um thank you for watching please subscribe and uh, i'll see you in the next video